Hello everyone, my name is Atish and in this learning video we will see what is spectral radius for a given matrix. Okay, so this spectral radius needs a concept of eigenvalues. Okay, so I would like you to go through the uh, video lecture on eigenvalues first and then you will come back. Okay, so uh, let me revise uh, what is eigenvalue first of all for the sake of our convenience those who are just watching this learning video suppose you have a matrix a okay and say it is of n by n matrix so a is an n by n matrix and uh, certainly if it is an n by n matrix then then a minus lambda i is called as characteristic characteristic matrix okay when we take a determinant of this characteristic matrix A minus lambda i, this gives you a characteristic polynomial, of course in variable lambda. Okay, And when you equate this determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0, when you equate this determinant or this characteristic polynomial to 0, it becomes a characteristic equation. Okay, and the zeros, the zeros or you can say the root or the another name is say solution of this characteristic equation is known as eigenvalues. Another name of eigenvalues are, eigenvalues are also known as the characteristic root or the latent roots or proper values or eigenvalues. So these are the different names of the eigenvalue. So root or zero or solution of this characteristic equation, solution of a minus lambda equal to zero, that is the characteristic equation, is called is called is called eigenvalues of a. Eigenvalues of a. Okay. So this is. Uh, what we have uh, the eigenvalues okay next but we are interested in the spectral radius okay so before spectral radius i would like to tell you what is the spectrum of uh, matrix okay so suppose so suppose uh, we have a matrix a so it will be having certain eigenvalues so if a is an n by n matrix so how many eigenvalues will it have? N eigenvalues. If a matrix is of 2 by 2 matrix, how many eigenvalues it will have? It will have 2 eigenvalues. 3 by 3 matrix, 3 eigenvalues and so on. So if A is N by N matrix, A is N by N matrix, then how many eigenvalues it will have? N. Say these eigenvalues are lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda N. So these are nothing but the eigenvalues of matrix A okay so what is the spectrum so spectrum of a matrix spectrum of a is defined as the set of all the eigenvalues whenever i am saying spectrum of a matrix is the set of all eigenvalues there should not be any repetition so repetition is not allowed okay so spectrum of a is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n assuming i am assuming that all the eigenvalues are non repeated okay so this is spectrum of a now let me tell you what is spectral radius <coughs> so the spectral radius so the spectral radius of a is nothing but spectral radius of a is nothing but the maximum of modulus of eigenvalues of A. Okay, so spectral radius is nothing but the maximum of modulus of eigenvalues of uh, A. Okay, so what you need to do is just uh, if you have n number of eigenvalues take its absolute values and whichever is the maximum that becomes the spectral radius for the given matrix A. Okay, now to make idea more clear, let me take an example on the same topic. So 
problem says if a is equal to let me take an example if a is equal to let me write down the matrix which is uh, 1 0 minus 4 1 0 minus 4 then 1 to 4 then 1 1 3 So we have this matrix A, okay, then find the eigenvalues of, find the eigenvalues of, eigenvalues of, what is it? A cube minus 6A square, 3A minus 2i is it yeah okay so we have to find out the eigenvalues of this not just this but also we have to find out also also find the spectral radius of the matrix also find the spectral radius of matrix represented by matrix represented by what is it a cube minus 6a square plus 3a minus 2i okay so this is the matrix now let me uh, solve this problem so what we have to find out first of all we have to we are given a matrix a and we have to find out all the eigenvalues of this to get the eigenvalues of this, we need to find out first of all the eigenvalues of this. So, you can start with uh, let A is equal to this matrix and then find out the eigenvalues. So, you can write eigenvalues of A is given by, is given by, what is it? Do you remember? determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 okay so what is it determinant of just remove or just subtract lambda from the diagonal element rest of the element as it is okay then 1 2 minus lambda 4 then 1 1 3 minus lambda is equal to 0 okay so we have this now what you need to do is you just need to solve this and we have a shortcut method for this what we do just because this is a 3 by 3 matrix so we'll be having a cubic equation lambda cube minus s1 lambda plus s2 lambda minus determinant of a is equal to 0 okay now that is lambda cube minus what is s1 lambda now these things are very known to you what is s1 s1 is nothing but the trace of the matrix so what is trace 1 plus 2 plus 3 so that is 6 lambda plus what is s2 s2 is sum of the minors of the diagonal element so to get the diagonal element of this remove this and this and we'll be getting 6 minus 4 so this is 2 then find out the minor of this diagonal element by removing this and this so we'll be getting 3 plus 4 that is 7 plus find out the minor of this diagonal element by removing this row and this column so this is 2 so this is 11 lambda minus find out the determinant of a so you can find out the determinant of a by using the trick we have a trick to find out the determinant and to see the trick you can just click on the uh, link given in the description to get the uh, to get the determinant of the matrix okay so determinant of the matrix comes out to be uh, let me check so this comes out to be minus 6 okay so determinant of uh, matrix a is 6 if you want you can actually find out by just uh, writing down uh, by just writing down this uh, 1 2 1 again uh, just repeating the first two uh, columns here okay 
and now you can make use of calculator to get the eigenvalues of this so eigenvalues are lambda is equal to 1 2 and 3 okay now once you get the eigenvalues of this equation this matrix a now you have you can find out the eigenvalues of this okay so let me draw a table So in table, you can just write uh, here. Here you can write eigen value of A, and here you can write eigen values eigen values of this A cube minus six A square plus three A minus i okay so we have these uh, values so what are the eigenvalues of a so we just uh, write like so what are the eigenvalues of a so eigenvalues of a just we have found out are 1 2 and 3 if you want you can uh, make a table like this to get a good feeling of finding out the eigenvalues of this now for the eigenvalues lambda equal to 1 you just need to substitute a is equal to 1 in throughout and i is 1 okay so what is it eigenvalue of this is 1 cube minus 6 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 minus 2 so this comes out to be minus 4 next for this you have you can find out 2 cube minus 6 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 2 okay so this comes out to be minus 12 and for 3 3 cube minus where it is 3 cube minus 6 into 3 square plus plus 3 into 3 minus 2 is equal to so 3 cube minus 6 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 minus 2 and this comes out to be minus 20 okay 2 cube minus 6 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 okay rest of the thing is correct now as you can see the eigenvalues of eigenvalues of this matrix eigenvalues of a cube eigenvalues of a cube minus 6a square plus 3a minus 2i are what are those eigenvalues minus 4 minus 12 and minus 20 so this completes my first part so this complete part number one now let us uh, uh, let us uh, do the second part what is the second part can you read out the question once again in the second part we have to find out the spectral radius represented by this matrix so we have the eigenvalues and we know what is the spectral radius spectral radius is maximum modulus uh, maximum of uh, absolute values of the eigenvalues okay so let me write here uh, spectral radius spectral radius is equal to what i can write i can write maximum of what are is uh, what are these eigenvalues maximum of mod 4 minus mod 12 and mod 20 minus okay now what is this the absolute value of this these are 4 12 and 20 and what is its maximum maximum of these three number is 20 so what is my spectral radius my spectral radius of matrix represented by this is 20 this is my spectral radius okay so uh, this is uh, what we have in this learning video and 
this may be helpful in getting you the spectral radius for the given matrix okay and in the uh, importance of this is uh, this may be asked in the examination like uh, when we uh, when you go for say gate examination or any uh, examination competitive one or uh, this uh, problem also ask in the uh, examinations like university examinations and so on okay so meaning thereby this is having its importance okay so just go through it and solve problem based on this okay so thank you